Sounds Libra. Hey guys, thank you for joining me. This is your March 2020 reading with me. We have jumped headlong into these 2020 energies. They are fast and furious, as I'm sure you can all recognize. We can see it globally at the global and the collective conscious level, but I think personally for a lot of us, we are also feeling the intensity of the 2020s. There's a whole raft of different energies flowing through. Some of them are, you know, kind of like very intense and hard to work with and others are light and fast and floaty. I know I've been experiencing uh, the whole raft of them at different times. So you can be like up one moment and then down the, the next. So it's kind of like a juggling act. Now we will be using these three decks of cards you see before you, but before we do that, I've done some intuitive work for you, so I'm going to read out the notes that I'd taken. So Libra, it says, knowledge coming, something you hadn't previously noticed or understood will be revealed. You may be privy to hidden knowledge or a secret. You should keep the secret. It may involve money or people's deeds like written deeds, as in wills, or maybe something that they've done. Uh, there is a hole, I've got, I've written, there is a hole, H-O-L-E, so like a, a hole missing something, or something's been dug, or something is not whole, as in W-H-O-L-E. So some of you might feel as though you're stuck in a hole, or some of you may feel a part of you is missing, as if you're not the whole of something. Maybe some of you are looking for a partnership or another half, or to meet the other half of you. Uh, the number four might be relative, so it could be a timing thing like four weeks, four days, four months, or it could be the number of something relating to, say, four people, or a house number four, or the fourth month of the year. The colour that uh, popped in for you was pink, as did the angel of love and the heart and self-love. So that, that comes back to this, you know, do you feel like something is not whole? Do you need more self-love? Do you need to have your heart initiated into love somehow? Uh, the other thing that came, now this is slightly more for women possibly, uh, but it might be for, if you're a man, it might be for a woman in your life. The ovaries, the womb, to have a physical check around areas of that part of your body. Also, I got left shoulder or arm may be painful or you might need something looked at there. Now that could be in the physical or it could be in the metaphysical realm. If you've got pain in parts of your body, often it's associated with like an, a spiritual aspect of us or an emotional aspect of us. The letter A or L may also be relevant. And I've come back again and said the hands and the shoulders What for this month, for March, something could be going on there. And I've said, have you felt the weight on your shoulders? Do you want a hand or do you want to lend a hand? So those messages popped up. They're quite, you know, um, brief messages. But if you sit on them, if you note them, and if you think on them and meditate on them, you might find answers. Now, also the cards that come, that turn up, may provide some answers or insights or, or direct you further through those messages that arrived. So let's see for Libra, what's in store for March 2020. Oh, these are jumping out. So we have the moon and the high priestess. So two major arcanas straight away. Now the moon could be be playing a role from the recent eclipses we had in January. They were very, very powerful. We don't have our next ones until June and July. But the, the words on the bottom of the card were powerful, intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear and understanding the truth of a situation. So the moon can often herald things happening at night, our emotional perspective, psychic awareness and tuning in, hearing messages through clear audience or clairvoyance or psychic ways, also uh, very much about synchronistic events and opportunities. So powerful intuitive epiphanies. And when we are tuned into ourself at the higher level, we can 
find a lot of answers uh, and make new decisions and have this almost as if we're being powered up by a battery charge because it's our own inner power that we are accessing. You, you don't need to be plugged in to the electric circuit, it's your circuitry that is actually kicking in and providing you with zest, zing, power, knowledge, understanding, awareness. Which brings me to this card because she's the same. Trust in your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. She is gleaning some sort of deep powerful knowledge in her position in life she becomes powerful through intuition and psychic abilities and awareness so this could be very much awakening for a lot of you at this time we're moving through intense planetary alignments that we haven't noted on this planet for nearly 3,000 years so the energies and, and information that's coming to us now are beyond anything we have ever experienced before. So expect change, expect deeper connection, expect this, expect the unexpected completely. This can also be a time when people find you attractive, where there could be relationships that come onto the scene. Uh, and this can also be relationships and sometimes when it's a threesome or when there's a little bit of shadow work going on or hidden agenda. The moon can turn up when we are hiding a relationship or trying to keep it private and so can this a little bit. So there is the uh, possibility for some of you who are seeking a relationship and this is usually an intimate one that this could be in the background or you could already be involved with something but you haven't told people yet or there's a f more than two of you involved. There could be three, you know, someone might already be in a relationship with someone else or you could be yourself and you are contemplating do you stay or go so yeah a big powerful way to start this reading for March with the two major arcanas and very much in that third eye uh, psychic realm and the crown chakra as well and we see that through all the purple emanating through the cards what else is for Libra? You can also find with the moon that a lot occurs at night, whether it's your intuitive messages or activities or work or people or socializing. This can all be done at night. Ooh, they want to just kind of fall out at the moment, the cards. Let's see what's going on in here. This is for Libra. I won't use them all, but I'll shuffle them and then I will just take the top ones. Oh, how lovely, the Ten of Cups. An emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, having raised children wisely or people you can trust around you. So not everyone is going to fall into that particular uh, paradigm at this point in time, but this energy is around you in one way or another. So if perhaps for yourself you haven't had children or haven't raised them to adulthood, this could be that you have relatives or friends in a situation who are there in that manner and that vibration is there for support or interaction. It's a positive card of love, of um, support most definitely. There, there's a huge amount of support in this card from people who know you and often bloodline people, uh, but if not bloodline then community, friends or such and like. And sometimes money plays a role. So there's sometimes a gift of financial support or interaction as well. The five of pentacles, reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for a career change and feeling challenged by money issues. I'm having a feeling if any of you do have money issues, there is someone who might be older, like a grandparent or an older person, who could support you and it's asking you to reach out for assistance. This card can also symbolize feeling a little bit unwell and sometimes hurting something like a foot or an arm and needing it bandaged. 
can also sometimes represent the ending of a relationship. We talked a little bit about that before with these two cards. There is a suggestion that you may already be in a relationship and you are contemplating ending one. And this could be part of the scenario with the five of pentacles that comes up. Or there might be someone you know who is in this situation where a relationship is being ended and you might be the person who is the support person uh, for someone in this situation as well, which is an, opportuni uh, an opportunity. The King of Wands, innovative, inspiring, wise and theatrical, a financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed, an unexpected supporter of your cause. So we're getting right duplicity of messages as if as if there's two different timelines going on here. Some of you are definitely utilizing or can utilize someone around you who is supportive of you and who has got something to offer you. And for some of you, it's money. Some of you may get a, a windfall from someone you know or something you have done. Uh, it, it could be tied up to like he could be a lawyer or a bank manager or an accountant or the tax man and he may pay you a dividend which enables you to pay off something that's been of hardship or where money has been a bit short or where you have felt out of place. You may have not felt grounded or earthed or as if you had a home and you've been not living in your home and been out of sorts but these three seem to be telling some sort of comparative story or they're aligned one way or another and this is often about the home this card the ten of cups so maybe some of you left your home or you've been without your home but there's an opportunity coming back to get back into your home or to feel more uh, safe again and grounded as if you are protected so yes some of you haven't had protection and you've been left out and things might have gone a bit odd you know um, temporarily very temporarily when it's this card the five of pentacles but it feels as though there's balance coming back in or things are on the change and positivity is coming yeah look what a beautiful card you know i don't think i've ever seen this one come out from this deck so we know it's the chariot uh, and it says success that comes from dedication and self-discipline celebrating your accomplishments being in the spotlight the chariot often talks about moving home or shifting something or getting a new job and that could be the windfall coming he could be the king of wands could be a new employer who hires you who enables you to feel more grounded and uh, able to pay back any debts that might be outstanding for some of you the chariot is selling your home and moving uh, to a happier place or buying a new home and not having to be in this position anymore which could have been a rented home so some of you may have been renting and you may be able to now buy a home and move and feel this grounded fulfilling satisfying energy again uh, the chariot also means regaining your own personal strength and that's tied into these two at the back feeling this amazing knowledge and awareness because uh, it says and celebrating your accomplishments being in the spotlight so Librans what have you done some of you are getting some acclaim award or success as well and this could be uh, scholarly liter literary um, it could be uh, through a positive act of kindness, you know, like a selfless, you save someone's life and they might be drowning or uh, they could be involved in a fire and you save them. Mm. There's some big stuff coming in there. Oh, well, this card is popping out for so many readings. I think he has now literally been out for nearly five readings. There's something going on with the, the unity and the community but he is the hierophant and he also is very much about religious uh, stability doing the right thing for the right reason comparing traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you in a spiritually minded community and here we are back at the spiritually minded boom you know there's four major arcanas 
I'm getting the feeling that March is very, very powerful for a lot of people. And so I do tell you to check your moon and rising signs as well because there's bound to be some other interesting insights within those readings as well. But this card is somehow pulling, he pulls things in. He's like the centerpiece of tying all the different threads. And somehow it's doing the right thing for the right reason is very important in this month of March. So not being rebellious, not doing bad stuff, not getting into trouble. Um, and I think for some of you, this will bring you in the spotlight and it will celebrate some sort of accomplishment or being like a hero. Some of you are going to get a hero type recognition. It, he can be also about the church, uh, going to churches or events that happen in and around churches. So what one more, maybe. Oh my God, now another major arcana, and it's the star. Look to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. And we could see that, and I said to you, this five of pentacles is a transitory time, and it may have actually been a while for some of you, it could have been five months or even longer, but there's so much happening, it's like, it's greater than in the here and now because you've got all these major arcana cards. They're just exploding onto the scene. You've got so many of them. So there's a lot of background inf information. There's energy changes taking place. There's dynamics taking place. I can't even fit them into a pattern here. So there's a lot happening for you guys, which is all leading you to a next step, a next stage, some sort of fruition, accomplishments. Oh God, now you've got an ace, the Ace of Cups. It is truly one of the most loved in the deck. Open your heart to love. And what did I say? Oh wow, I said the angel of love, the heart, self-love. Open your heart to love. Oh yeah, and I said deeds, you, you, deeds, you, you, you may, something may involve people and their deeds, definitely, and that's what that chariot was talking about, some sort of being in the spotlight, the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one, the awakening, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. So I know when to stop in a reading because we start going around in circles and this Ace of Summer has brought us back to the very starting moment of the Moon and the High Priestess. A beautiful reading for you guys, a really powerful one. There's a lot of power behind the cards that I'm holding here in particular. So I would come back and listen again and tap into the resources within this reading as you go forward, especially if you come up with any glitch stages or blockages because there's just so much availability here for you guys to access your own answers and movement at this time in March. But this is way bigger than just March. So we'll leave those ones there and I will have a quick look for you into this deck for Librans. Same thing, just jumping out. And again, I'm not inclined to want to use all of them because we have one more deck to go, although I would only pull one from the last deck. Beautiful. Archangel Michael, always a wonderful gift to receive in a reading. He's the first chakra area of the body. That part of the body may need freeing up, opening up, um, tuning in. It may need awakening. This is where you receive money, you receive your job offers, you receive your home, you feel safe, you feel grounded. This is where our soul tribe comes from and our connection to family and friends. So really focus on Archangel Michael's um, gift of power there. He's a great protector as well if you need protection or energizing. Adjacent possibilities. 
we've seen that there are doors opening for you and I do think you have many different directions you could head so don't be stifled or think that you are limited and these doors literally look like doors to rooms or opportunities or even houses or places to live or reside and we've talked about that a little bit with you guys boom man holding a heart we've, we you've been told several times about the heart about love about opening your heart and also about heart care in the month of March so physical heart care as well and this can be a new romance coming in for you uh, and it could obviously if you're a lady watching a woman watching this or if you're a man who's interested in a man then this could be a new love romance coming in or it could be someone who loves you who is there to support you and again that goes back to that one of those first cards the ten of cups another beautiful archangel in Raphael the healing of the heart healing of any heart pain associated with loss or lack of ability to make the connections grieving from a love relationship breakup or grieving from the loss of someone in your life through a passing over so someone who was very close to you who died and passed over and your heart still hurts feeling the emotional healing through Archangel Raphael and the green energies and the heart chakra balancing this beautiful card I'm getting the green vibe just booming off it for me it truly is really it's very active right now while we're doing the reading and it's very it's actually strong I was going to say it's soft but it's not it's very strong but very gentle so gently strong wow you guys got one of the best readings I've seen with everything that's come out so let's just do this final card for you this is Denise Jarvie's The Secret Language of Light Think we'll take this one you've had cards come out really quickly sometimes other uh, astrological signs have to wait a while but you have had them just jump out as if this message was waiting to be told for days and days so let's see what you've got oh, wow expansion this beautiful soft mauvey purpley color and we mentioned that earlier when I said this is the third eye and the crown chakra and you got 44, you know, one of the angel numbers coming through. So I'll just get the book and read to you. Travel at your own speed of light. Are you keeping up with your life and all you want to create? Or are you holding yourself back with what ifs or buts? You limit your life through your beliefs. Everything you say and everything you do becomes true for you and is the platform on which you build your life. The playing field of life is unlimited and loving. You are an unlimited, loving and wondrous part of creation. You are perfect right here, right now. You are different and therefore think differently to last week, last year, last decade and yet you will always be you. What you are observing is your view. It is neither right nor wrong, but a way to become clearer about what you like and don't like, so you can choose what to focus upon. The events and experiences of your life will grow in meaning as your conscious expands. Learn to focus and dance in time with the energy and speed of your desires and they will arrive easily in surprising and satisfying ways. It's almost like a card of manifestation as well with the message. So the, there is a meditation that you can do with this and I will read it out to you now and it's called a soul mastery class and it's activating your Merkaba. So the star tetrahedron at the center of this image is also known as a Merkaba or vehicle of light. It is made up of two tetrahedrons spinning in opposite directions. One points upward and represents the masculine, one points downward and represents the feminine. 
It is symbolic of travel through space, time or dimensions to your higher self and beyond. Lie down and relax and envisage the card in your eyes and at your third eye level. Close your eyes and move your breath in and out, slowly and deeply. Relax into your body and allow all resistance to melt away. You are calm and harmonious. In your mind's eye, see one triangle of the Merkaba rotating above your head. See the other triangle rotating in the opposite direction at your feet. Use your imagination to bring the two triangles together at your heart, just as in the image. Allow the movement at your heart to activate secret passageways to your truth, love and wisdom. All is connected in this space you have created. Feel how soft and easy you are. From this place you can fly to wherever you like or just allow your soul to take you on a journey. Ride the wave of now and feel the perfection in each moment of life. Each moment is a seamless link in the chain of creation. Right now, your outer world is being created in your inner world. Stay in this space for at least a minute. When you feel ready, ask your Merkaba to bring you back to the present in your physical self. Feel your Merkaba move into your heart where you can access it whenever you want. Be present by opening your eyes and smiling. And there's a couple of different reflections and activities you can do as well. Uh, one of them is, what are you putting off because you feel time poor? Do what you love. Time will expand and your day will flow. And then it is also action does not make things happen on its own. Your actions are the way you participate in what you have created with your vibrational focus. Then there's a third one. Take a piece of paper. At the bottom of the page, draw a cross in the centre. This is where you are now. Then draw a cross in the centre at the top of the page. This is where you want to go or be. The piece of paper and the distance between the two crosses represent linear time and space. Now fold the paper in half and bring the two crosses together. Now there is no distance between them. You can feel the way you want to right now. By folding the piece of paper, you and your desires occupy the same space. Can you feel it? Did you feel that? That's actually really worth doing. So Libra, that is a beautiful reading for you guys. It's very powerful. You had some amazing energy come in. Healing energies, angel energies, major arcanus, opening of the heart at many, many different levels, beautiful ace as well, just the opportunity of this amazing beginning of a journey of sacredness in your life. So I wish you all a beautiful, beautiful March, and believe me, this reading is far deeper than just March, it goes well beyond that with the messages that arrived. So thank you all, much love to you. Thank you for subbing and liking and leaving your comments. Namaste.